Tom Glavin was 16 and 7 for the season. 1 and 0 in the postseason, as you see, he pitched well in both the division series and the LCS. Here's the 2 2. Struck him out. Bounce back to Glavin. He's out of the first. 1 2 3. He punches him out. Got him swinging for his second strike out of the inning and his third in the first two frames. He couldn't check and he's gone for the fourth strikeout for Tom Glavin in two and a third. Fans roaring on one and two and Glavin finishes the inning with his fifth strikeout through three. He's gone for the sixth strikeout recorded by Glavin. Breaking ball down and in, and Vizquel wants to know if it was a called strike or if he said he didn't check his swing. Struck him out. Seven strikeouts through five. Hasn't allowed the Indians a hit. Georgia Governor Zell Miller alongside Jane Fonda showing his approval. Strikeout number eight for Glavin. Drop another one down. McGriff. Glavin covers. A one hitter through eight. And inning away from the end of a five-year quest for the Atlanta Braves. He was there for worst to first. He was there for the division titles and the world championship. Now, he's back, and Tom Glavin wants to add one more successful chapter to his Hall of Fame career. Now, hear Tom tell his story, his way, on In My Own Words. Tommy, when you do decide to hang him up, what do you want to be your legacy in terms of what you've done here in this game? Um... Good question. <laughs> I don't know. I think overall, you know, you you want you just want people to respect what you've done. You know, you want them to respect how you went about your business, uh, how you played the game, how you represented your organizations, how you represented yourself. Um, you know, it's easy. I think it's easy to look at guys and look at their numbers and be enamored by their numbers. But let's get beyond their numbers and let, let's talk about what kind of person is that guy. You know, and and I think that ultimately along with the success that I've had as a player, which, you know, people are going to look at and say, oh, my goodness, he's a 300-game winner. Uh, I want somewhere in that sentence to be, yeah, you know, what a good, great player he was, what a great competitor. You know, I have a lot of respect for that guy. You know, whether it's guys who played with me or guys that have just watched me, I think ultimately the biggest compliment that you can get across the board from people is that they respect you, you as a person and as a player and how you went about your business, and I hope that's the case. All up against Tom Glavin, the 41-year-old lefty, and he's ready to go. Going outside this time. And Lee hooks it into left field. Alou, he's got it. A nice running catch as he got to the warning track. He's not likely to drive him in from first base. And I think he may drive him in. Let's see. Pagan rushing that ball, and he drops the ball. Millage is in to score. It is one to nothing Mets, and it is Tom Glavin who drives in the first run. Pagan rolls one to Castillo. Castillo, who almost never makes an error, center his first time. And there's Sean Green. And that is a quick inning. This is Marquis. Now Reyes, streaking across the middle, throws him out. Tom Gladden. I appreciate it. And the curveball. He struck him out with the hook. So Glavin has gone six, allowing one run. And as he walks off the field, the fans at Wrigley Field, Chicago, with a standing ovation, knowing that this might be the last they'll see of Glavin on this night. This should do it. Go tie. And that's 300 wins for Tom Glavin, the 23rd player in the history to do it. Only time will tell if he's the last to do it.
but the night is his. Well, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's where you want to be as a player. Uh, every player wants to be in the Hall of Fame. Whether or not they get there is another thing. But, uh, you know, I mean, obviously being in the Hall of Fame is, is a sign of excellence, uh, a sign of consistency. Um, and you're just being, you know, grouped with the greatest players that have ever played the game. And, and uh, anybody who tells you they don't want that is lying to you. Uh, we all would love to get there. It's just uh, obviously a very hard and exclusive place to get to.